boink, boink, boink. Hey, what's going on guys? So today, no, not yesterday, not tomorrow, not next week, not in May, not in December, but today... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me? But today we are going to be rehousing this tarantula into this enclosure that I prepared for it. Now, before we do that, I want to miss this. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Chill, chill, okay? Chill, bottle, chill. Now, this substrate is what I've seen in videos of tarantulas in the wild. If you watch Brave Wilderness or something, you see the wild tarantulas, they walk on these kind of substrate, like really solid ground, and it looks super cool. So, yeah, this is why I'm transferring these tarantulas into this kind of substrate, which is, I don't know, let's just see how it works, okay? And by the way, I have to charge my phone because it's like 6%. So I'm filming with a 6% battery phone. How great. I'm gonna be misting this just a little bit because this is a desert species. So here we go. Whoa, what is wrong with you, bottle? Come on, man, behave. See, there we go. Yeah, I think that would be good enough. Yep, if the tarantula wants to burrow or something. Now, I don't think this guy will burrow because I put this um, Isora plant. Pretty sure you guys have seen this plant before. But if you haven't, yeah, well, that's an Isora or Isora. I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyways, let's get this tarantula into her new enclosure. This is a Ceratogyrus meridionalis, meridionalis, the Zimbabwe grey baboon. I'm so glad that this one, I have it because this is my only Meridionalis. I have Ceratogyrus Darlingi, Ceratogyrus Marshali, Ceratogyrus Sandri. I have already three Ceratogyrus, and this is one of the Ceratogyrus that does not have a horn. Now, the Ceratogyrus Darlingi, it has a, how do you say, a rear horn. It's called a rear horn baboon. But yeah, a horn that is pointing towards the back of it. And Ceratogyrus Marshali has a horn painting straight up. Pointing, painting. What? Painting straight up? What's wrong with me, man? You can paint a horn on the tarantula. Pointing straight up. And then we have the Ceratogyrus Sandri, where the horn is just like, just a little bump, which is like really thick. But this guy, oh my gosh, oh. Oh my goodness. Whoa, okay, relax, bro. This is the Meridionalis, which doesn't have a horn. As you can see, her butt, it's really big. So that shows that she is one really healthy tarantula. Now my English is already like going bad. So let's get her into this enclosure. I'm pretty sure she's gonna start webbing because as you can see, she webs quite a bit. So I think all these anchor points would be good for her. I have a feeling that she's just gonna like go under here. Either that or she'll just web a tunnel and just live in there. We'll see, we'll do an update video on this in the future so without any further ado i've got my tong here to get her into here obviously i mean i'm not gonna get her like down into my room hey tiger what's up <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna get her into here and of course i've got my handy dandy catch cup which is a little bit dirty you gotta like and now my floor is dirty beautiful so let's get this over and done with so bear with me guys hopefully she does not oh my gosh please do not bolt on me because i am giving you a very very nice new enclosure and i'm pretty darn sure you will enjoy it okay come on i don't want to hurt you so please cooperate it's not like i'm gonna hurt you if you don't cooperate but you never know right accidents can happen so please whoa okay so there we go guys that's a beautiful view of her before she decides to bolt on me i mean please do not bolt but yeah before anything happens i just want to show you guys because as soon as she gets in here she may go under the plant so we may not be seeing her so here is a very beautiful view of her now it looks like she was supposed to have a horn i mean look at that and then the horn didn't grow out and it's just like a little hole two holes i don't know evolution no clue so this girl she seems to be pretty calm now but please i don't want to jinx anything now this is a very bad position because the gap here is like real small so if i push her she can just bolt out here oh my gosh i'm talking too much let's put you down like this okay now please go oh no she seems to like her current enclosure a lot but come on this is an upgrade for you you're gonna love this upgrade i can guarantee you that come on girl you're a good girl please do not bolt all right girl let's go slow and steady wins the race come on Please do not bolt because, you know, if you bolt like the hare, you're just gonna start sleeping. You gotta walk like the tortoise, so you will win the race. What am I even saying? Seriously. Just mumbling and rambling to myself. Come on, girl. Oh my gosh. What is she even doing? She's not even stepping. She's like, I believe I can fly. Okay, remind me to never do that again. <laughs> uh, come on, girl. Look at this. <laughs> boink, boink, boink. <laughs> what am I 
you been doing? Come on, girl. Let's move slow and steady, please. All right. Now, I have had tarantulas that are like slow and steady, like what she's doing now. And then as soon as their last leg leaves their previous enclosure, they take off. And that is hell of a not fun, man. Hell of a not fun. What kind of English is that? Don't even know. But hey, what are you doing, man? Seriously, I mean, girl. Whoa, what are we Cross leg now, huh? We're gonna play cross leg? Let's play Twister. You guys know Twister, that, that, that board game? Board game, yeah. Let's play Twister with this tarantula. She is clearly a pro and she wants to demonstrate that. Okay, oh man. Can you stop sticking to my tongs? Check out her nails, guys. See? Tarantula has half nails. Pretty dang cool, eh? All right, come on, please, please. Yes, yes. I am liking this a lot. There's web stuck to your feet. And you are off. Yes. Thank you for not bolting. I don't want you to bolt when I take this out, please. All right. So awesome. That was perfect. This was like the easiest old world rehousings ever despite her being stubborn. Woo. I'm very happy. Thank you, girl. Thank you. I really like you. I mean, I really like that you didn't bolt on me. It's not that I am attracted to tarantulas. Okay, let's move on. Now I'm gonna have to fill up the water dish. I don't have like, okay, let, let's see if I can, if I have enough, I can just squirt in. Sorry about, this sound is not gonna be good, so sorry about that. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh. What? What is this even? Come on, man. We still have water in here. What are you doing, container? Please, cooperate with me. Okay, let's go. All right, I give up. Such a useless container, man. You're a useless container. Why did I even buy you? Okay, let's go. Oop. Well, that went well. So, um, what else is there to say in this video? Really nothing much, but I will do an update on this enclosure maybe after a month because I'm going to have to give her some time. I don't know how long, but I mean, maybe a month. In a month, yeah. In a month, I'll give her like a month time and see what she does with this enclosure. I'm pretty darn sure she's going to start webbing up this place and it will look spiffy. Is spiffy even a word? Spiffy. Yeah, I like the word, so I'm going to name it spiffy. So, this enclosure is going to look spiffy. That's pretty much it yeah that's pretty much it there's nothing else to say in this video if you liked it be sure to thumbs it up if you didn't thumbs it down if you're new to this channel subscribe hit that notification bell the red um oh my gosh what's wrong with me red bell no the bell's not red the subscribe button's red subscribe hit that red button and then hit the bell at the side of it so you'll know when the next video is up and social media links patrons in the description below feel free to go check those out it'd be really cool thank you guys if you do go check it out you guys are awesome and yeah i'll see you in the next video take care Peace and out.